Today we are continuing our journey to a silky smooth dot file setup. I'm on a 30 day journey to clean up my dot files and you can follow along here on YouTube. I'll have a playlist linked down below. Today we're talking about auto groups. We're going to use them so that we're not running those auto commands more than they need to. I have a file set up called format.vim. What it's going to do is every time we save a Python file, it's going to go ahead and run the command echo formatting with black. So we'll go ahead and give that a save. If you don't have an auto command for your vim scripts to automatically source, you got to give it the old shout out percent sign in the command down below. Open up a new.py, give it a save. and. We'll see formatting with black was ran exactly as we thought. But what happens when we save this a whole bunch of times? I mean, a whole bunch of times. We're working on our dot files. We're making them smooth. We're coming back to our Python and we're giving that. The Holy cow. This thing is running rampant. It just keeps formatting with black. We can't even stop it anymore. We got to we got to do something to fix this up. And that's where auto groups come in. Go ahead and give this an AU group format and we give it an AU group end, but that's not enough. This is where I've stopped in the past and where I have struggled with auto commands. This assigns this auto command formatting with black to an auto group called format. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't clear out the auto group format every time we save. So to do that, we simply just do auto command, bang, save that. Okay, let's get out of Vim because we have way too many auto commands running in this session. Go ahead and open up format.vim, save it so that it gets sourced and open up that new.py. Go ahead and give that a save. So I think I had an issue with this group called format. So I changed the name over to my group for this example. And we get a nice formatting with black every time we save. We can save this all we want. And it's going to clear out our auto commands. And then it's going to recreate them every time. So that we don't have more than one formatting with black hanging around here. And as you see, every time I save formats with black. If you like this one, make sure you check out the article. I've got some links there and I got a little bit more about my setup. So check it out. Link down below. Thanks for following along.